Welcome back everyone, Drake Hawkins with you again, and we're back in Mountain Blade Warband. As you can see, this is the Floris Expanded mod. Uh, we have been uh, gallivanting around the country making ourselves some coin. Uh, right now we're heading over to Sargoth, actually, and we're going to go... Hello, Scout Report. What did you have to say? Where is this? There he is. There is this unwanted fellow. Is he going to come after me? Probably. That's awkward. He's chasing me down. Is he chasing me? No. Oh, he is chasing me. He's being chased by the Baron. Oh, well, we'll go help the Baron then. Let's help the Baron chase him down. No? No, apparently not. Apparently he's not scared of us at all. Okay, back to Sargoth. Alright. Uh, see if we can't sell off some of these ruffians, miscreants. Slaver. Nice. 3,000. Good hit. <clears throat> See, the dudes have bought some food and they sold off some old items. Uh, we can probably hunt them down now. Now, this is a whole bunch of sea raiders. I wouldn't mind uh, some help at this. 68 of them. They're just sea raiders, right? Right, Drake? Well, let's let them come over to somewhere that's hopefully going to be reason more reasonable terrain for us. You're running from me now? What? I'm confused. You've been chasing me this whole time. I think you're confused. Who are you running from now? Me or him? Oh, you're running from him still. I'm just going to hang out here and kind of corral you towards him. Let him get involved with this fight. That'd be great. Great. Help the Baron out. <coughs> uh, we're going to lead our troops in. We have 139 against their 86. This shouldn't be a problem at all. Probably could have sold them, but oh my gosh. Really? Our whole army started in the river? Why? Well, everyone follow me. Let's get out of the river, shall we? <laughs> Oliver didn't stand a chance. Actually, he did. He could have easily killed us. Everyone charge. <laughs> that was too good. <coughs> oh, that was funny. <laughs> I was like, what? what's actually going on here? He's not. That's a lot of them coming after me. They're not they're not happy with me apparently. That's a tree. Don't hit a tree, Drake. I seem to be running like an entire battalion of these guys away. Oh, if I could get rid of I think I need to kill off turn off the kill count. I think I need to turn off the kill count. the whole battle? <clears throat> I'm only seeing green text here, boys. Nobody stand a chance against this, I tell ya. Nobody stands a chance. Okay, so we don't have that great of an army yet. <clears throat> but these war maids, I tell ya. These war maids. They do some good. Um, I did look up what it is. I think it's a G to call. No. G to put the M to call your horse and uh, cheer. And G to put your pavis down when you're in a war situation. Good to see you, Baron. Or Bayor. As it were. Got into a fight, that's for sure. A masterwork Nordic war sword. A 
Hello. Hmm. Masterwork Nordic War Sword. I think I'll hold on to that for the time being. Since all my crew is set to... Oops, I didn't give them a chance to upgrade. That's right. Since all the crew is actually set to uh, focus on keeping their weapon. To the tavern, sell, rinse, repeat. The way to wealth in Mountain Blade Warband. I know most of you that are watching this are aware that Banner Lords is coming out. And I can't express how excited I am to see that. Hattie the Slaver, nice. Um, it's probably still going to be about six months or so from when I'm recording this till when we actually get the game, but get our hands on it. Large Marvel Valsgard Helm. Oh, yes. She looks prettier in this one, but the other one's so good. Oh, wait. Ooh, 1600 actually. Maybe we won't. Eh, only five more points. Really, it's not that spectacular. But oh my gosh, that is spectacular. 51. Doesn't look great, but it looks it looks terrible on her. But look at that. Price. 51 for reinforced blue white Viking Barney Barney. Whatever it is, it's nasty. Alright, off we go. This is cash right here. This is the, this is the in the money. Oh, what what's going on here? Look, we got a fight going down somewhere. Where is it? This is village farmers. Oh, you're in ex unacceptable behavior, sir. Oh, what? Attend a tournament? We have a we have a mission to attend a tournament in Dream. Duke Clace, where are you last seen? <coughs> Suno, report is 17 days old. Well, that might be inaccurate then. Well, let's over, head over that way, eventually finish off this mission. We got anybody worth fighting here? Manhunter, there's just too many manhunters in the Nordlands now. Let's go for a ride up by the Forest of Doom. Aha! 34 forest bandits ready for their doom. Chase them down! Go, war maids! Good. Prepare to die. You know what? I should do uh, plan battle. Okay, I want to do set this up. I've never set this up yet on this map. Initial is going to be hold position. No, initial is going. To, yeah, initial is going to be hold position, and then you're going to go forward ten. Movement two will be to spread out. In fact, I want you to spread out twice, please. And then you're going to go into ranks. Infantry, I want you to go start with none and go forward 10, actually, twice. That'll put you ahead, hopefully, of the archers. You know what? Let's do it three times. And then you're going to... Uh, you don't need to move, I guess. Stand closer... No, we're not going to get you to stand... Yeah, maybe stand closer and then go to shield wall. No, stand closer only once, please. Go to shield wall. Uh, the war maids are, of course, going to be on follow me. The manhunters are going to be on... in wedge formation. Horse archers are going to be in... <coughs> Hold position, they're going to stand still, they're going to spread out three, please. And then you're going to go into none stance. And then the cavalry, I think, is going to go ahead and hold and go wedge as well. <coughs> Actually, I want horse archers to square up, see if that's a thing. No, no, not square up, none. Okay, that'll do it. So, the infantry is going to hold position, then move forward. They're going to start by moving forward uh, 30 paces. They're going to stand closer and go into shield wall formation. The archers are going to move forward 10 paces, spread out twice, and go into ranks. The cavalry is going to hold in wedge, and the manhunters are going to hold in wedge. 
The uh, war maids, of course, will follow me, and the horse archers will hold and spread out three. I think that's lovely. Dispatch orders, enough planning to battle. <clears throat> Let's see if that's settled. How did we do this? How do we handle this, folks? How did this look? So, what do we got going on here? This will be the infantry, right? Good. You guys are in shield wall, yes? I like it. Archers. Good. You could probably move forward two then, actually. So let's go with, uh, oh no, not everyone. Archers. Archers formation. Advance ten. I want the manhunters up here, please. Cavalry up here, please. Charge. In infantry charge. Remains charge. Oops. Wrong button. Gotta run away, are you a coward? Okay, so it's not really cowardly, by the way. In that situation, you are completely rolled. Oh, somebody shot him as I was on the way in to take him out. Crunch! Nice, I like that idea. Okay, gonna tweak it though. Gonna move the archers forward 20 and the infantry forward 30, and that'll be a good start. Three more renown and a bunch of captured prisoners. Get the uh, slave hunter improvements. Ah, we got the hunters got some improvements. We'll go with uh, marksman. I do not care for the horse archery type in this situation. Although, if we had all horse units, that would be a thing. Uh, perform the upgrade. And then to sell. Let's go to Suno, see if we can sell in there. I like that we're tough enough to handle most things that would come at us bandit-wise, uh, except for the warnings, and they give us a warning when it happens. The uh, When the like named dudes get their big group together. Um, see if Suno has a prisoner exchange dude. There he is, Olin the Slaver. What do we got for ladies today? Huntresses. Um, hire all of you. Excellent. Five more huntresses. That's good stuff. Where are we at for our crew total? The war maids are now uh, wielding 69 of 76 troops. The Chevy needs a train. What can we train you in, the Chevy? You're a mighty fighting machine, young lady. Uh, you are the. Uh, tracker Pathfinder gal. I like that. Let's put tracking up one point. That would be nice. Uh, can we get your archery to 100? Just about. 99. I like that. Uh, Markswoman again above the threes, a fours. Good. 17,000 in the coffers. Actually, you know what? Let's go into Suno here and talk to Suno. I wonder <clears throat> if we could find the Guildmaster. Do we find the Guildmaster or do we use landlords? 159 per acre every two weeks. So it's 5% interest? Buying an existing costs 11... 1,150 that gives us 115 for every two weeks. That's not the more valuable way to do it. Let's walk around the streets in Suno and find ourselves a guildmaster. Oh good, we don't have to walk, we can ride. Phew. 
Suno, where's your guild master? Suno. Probably up the stairs that I can't go up. Nope, can't go up the stairs at all. That's really annoying. Can my horse follow me? <laughs> nope, apparently not. That is the whistle, M. Are you the guild master? Ah, guild master in town. Good to see you. Uh, don't run the job. Well, that wouldn't be a bad idea. <clears throat> Some travelers on the road to Revenant were attacked by forest bandits. Uh, I'll do it if I can find them. <clears throat> now, uh, would like to buy a productive you know, I think. Ah, yes, excellent. We can find someone to buy some land, or sell, buy a business from. Um, producing bread worth 264 each week. Profits of 151 actually is what I'm looking for. Um, 24 per week. Leather gives us a profit of 148 per week. Wine and grapes is taking a loss right now. Lo major loss minus 260 for the all for the oil. The tool and die is actually 248. Uh, silks and velvet. Profit of 31. Not many profitable spots along here. Wool? How about wool? 34. Flax. 74. Really? Bread's worth 24. Um, make ale. 151. Leather, 148. Wine. There's nothing of value in here. This is terrible. Is your city not very prosperous or what? Never mind. Um, trade around here. A shortage of wool, raw silk, dyes, hides, smoked fish, grapes, olives, grain, chicken, pork, and some other commodities. Jeepers, you are in weak position. <coughs> wow. Um, the wealthiest towns in Kalradi is known to be Uxcarl. Here in Suno, we are poorer than one town and richer than 20. Okay, so it is the rich place to be. Um, <laughs> well, let's go with uh, ale. It's only 2,500 dinar to get ale going. Okay. That sounds fantastic, sir. Thank you so much. Let's head up to uh, over to Previn. Start buying up some businesses, shall we? Zoom. Zoom. Um, Guildmaster. Speak to the Guildmaster. <coughs> the Master of the Guild. Ah, uh, there we go. And what have we got for profitability here? 138. 110. Hides. <coughs> Pardon me, profit of 241. Grapes, uh, profit of 106. Olives, profit of 230 per week. Iron at 316. Dye in silks, profit of 523 per week. Now we talk, ooh. Did I just click the same one or what? Iron is 316. Silk and dye is 523. Wool is 116. And flax, 106. Looks like we're getting into a silk and dye. It's 10,000 investment, <coughs> but a weekly income of 523. There you go. You got the land. You got the money. Give me my monies. Make my investment thrive. Now, <coughs> interesting thing. You can go into these towns. <coughs> Pardon me. You can now visit your dye works. I think this is a mod thing? I'm not sure. We can go talk to the Master Dyer, and it'll be seven days before we get started. So yeah, the first week you don't think you make anything off of it, because it takes seven days before they activate. Oh, hello. Vingar Castle was taken. That's not a good sign, Swadia. It's a great sign for me, my dream, but not a good sign for Swadia. Didn't we fight for somebody before? Sovereign Relations... Swadia likes us. Sultan, it seems to like us. Principality, the beggars seem to like us. Okay. 
Do 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 do. Let's head off to find some bandits before we head to go spend some more money. We don't have very much money left right now because we just well we have the fifty three hundred. We just spent uh, twelve thousand five hundred on investments. Now there is supposed to be some bandits that I am supposed to capture, and I do not know where these bandits would be. I think they should show up in blue like the initial quest guys do. Uh, if we do take the field, what does that do? Is that is that is that the order? If I take sit, hit take the field, does that give them their their marching orders? Or what? Apparently not. That's just hold position somewhere. All right, there should be a shortcut. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be. Uh, these are horse. Or these are forest bandits. Let's just rock them. Stopped by that little tiny tree? I did. Well, there goes your brain case. Level 17! Good job, Hanakalia! Lady of the War Maids. Hey, yeah, that's something else I did in between episodes. Oh, C6 has now crushed somebody. Um, I went and changed the name of the band from Hanakalia's War Band to War Maids of Calradia. So, yeah. We're, we're toting the line now. Nine more War Maids. Er, uh, uh, Manhunters. Yeepers. I definitely want to keep a very large collection of war of uh, Manhunters available. I think we'll probably later on roll with 40 or 50 of them. And once we get a castle or a city, we can put them in there and kind of keep them out of the fights unless we're going hunting for cash. In time of war, they'll hang out in Major Castle. Pardon me, where they'll be cheaper and uh, also um, augment defenses. Well, that's enough of them. We gotta head. O we're supposed to head over this way. I thought those is where these bandits were supposed to be. There's a. There's some sort of like specially labeled bandits, maybe. Apparently not. Not on the way yet. Ain't not see. Oh my gosh, the noise. The music is rather large here. Camp followers. They're a little on the low side for what I need. Uh, actually. I think there's two harpists playing right now. That's really awkward. Nothing to be had up there. Let's leave. Ah, just I would have done this, but I wanted to find the bandits that we were supposed to... Oh, what is this? Party size tracked seven hours ago. Using the tracking, fine tracking skills of... Whoever that is, I don't know who it is. Like, what, what weirds me out is I'm supposed to be finding, so I've never been able to be successful at actually tracking down a band that was 
Oh, well, we'll help with this this deserter fight, and then we'll put in a cut there and continue the hunt later. Um, plan the battle, dispatch. Enough planning to battle. I wish there was a shortcut key to that, but there isn't. 100 to there. T oh, there we go. Um, okay, so you're gonna jam up on me. That's interesting. That is a huge cavalry wedge, or warman. Um, not warman. Uh, manhunter wedge. Huge manhunter wedge. Uh, six, follow, please. Manhunters charge. That's why it's such a big because we got managers with us here. Nope, out of reach, out of reach, out of reach. That's the end of that. It's literally just a ball of mash. Nonsense. Good, good. I don't think we lost anybody doing that. Into that fight, we lost a manhunter. That's too bad. All right. Uh, anybody super worthwhile taking? No. Because none of them are the ladies in distress. Uh, these bandits will not be worth anywhere near as much as these guys will. There we go. Okay, train up three of the man hunters that didn't die, and then we get a level. <clears throat> Large bag of throwing bollock daggers. Interesting. Grab your gear if you want it. Ah, the leather jerkin was useful for Clethy. Alright, well that is the end of today's episode. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm gonna go ahead and train up, uh, I think maybe some charisma would be a nice new direction to go in. I do want to increase persuasion badly, but it's probably, well, I guess that's actually probably a good time to start that, considering we're humming and hawing about military actions that would result in uh, the War Maids getting some attention politically. Halmar and, oh, what the heck? Halmar and Nara are now Principality of the Vagars control. What? The Vagars, you're just getting out of hand, dude. Holy Hannah. You started with uh, four cities. You now have eight cities. I think the Vagars are winning. <laughs> just, just saying. I think the Vagars are winning. Um, wow. Harsh. So, the Nords have gotten their butts kicked and pretty hard, hardly, and the Khan here has gotten his butt kicked, but this was not the Khan losing territory. This was the Serenid Sultanate losing territory. Anyways, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the other things we have on the channel for you. Hop on into the Discord if you're interested in some multiplayer of some of the new content we have at the moment. And as always, I'll see you in game.